Welcome to the world of Bleach, a place where the line between life and death is thinner than you might think. Ghosts, soul reapers, and monstrous hollows are just a part of daily life for Ichigo Kurosaki, a high school student with extraordinary gift. But his life takes a dramatic turn when he crosses paths with Rukia Kuchki, a soul reaper, and ends up inheriting her powers. In today's video, we're diving deep into the first season of Bleach, also known as the Agent of Shinigami arc. This is where the journey begins for Ichigo, a reluctant hero thrown into the world of Soul Reapers. We'll be exploring his transformation, the rise of dangerous enemies, and the mystery surrounding the Soul Society. So sit back as we recap the highlights of Season 1 of Bleach. The story starts in Katakura Town, a seemingly quiet place, but for Ichigo Kurosaki, life is anything but normal. He's always been able to see ghosts, an ability that caused him more trouble than comfort. For Ichigo, this gift seems more like a curse, as it constantly reminds him of the world beyond the living. But Ichigo's life is about to change when he meets Ruki Akuchi, a mysterious soul reaper who introduces him to the terrifying world of hollows, evil spirits that devour human souls. Rukia's job is to protect the living world from hollows and guide souls to the afterlife. During a routine mission, she encounters a powerful hollow threatening Ichigo's family. In a desperate attempt to save them, she transfers her powers to Ichigo, making him a substitute soul reaper. This moment marks the start of a journey that Ichigo never wanted. In one moment, Ichigo goes from high school student to a powerful soul reaper. But with great power comes great responsibility. Ichigo quickly learns that being a soul reaper isn't just about fighting monsters. It's about protecting the people you care about and balancing the spiritual world with the physical. Season 1 introduces us to the world of soul reapers through Ichigo's eyes. He's completely out of his element, stumbling through his duties as a substitute soul reaper. But his natural talent begins to shine through. Each episode in Season 1 brings new challenges for Ichigo. With Rukia's guidance, he starts to get the hang of being a Soul Reaper. The enemies he faces, Hollows, are grotesque and powerful, but they, are, they also carry tragic backstories. Many of them are souls that couldn't find peace, transforming into monsters filled with anger and despair. As Ichigo battles these hollows, we see a theme that runs throughout Bleach, the thin line between life and death. Each hollow was once a person, and each battle weighs heavily on Ichigo, especially when he encounters spirits tied to the people he knows. One of the most emotionally charged moments in the first season is Ichigo's confrontation with the hollow responsible for his mother's death. This is more than just another battle. For Ichigo, it's a deeply personal fight. The grief and guilt he's carried for years come to the surface, and this is a pivotal moment in his growth as a character. In this battle, we see the heart of what drives Ichigo. His desire to protect those he loves stems from the pain of his mother's death. This emotional depth is what makes Bleach stand out among other shonen anime. There's always a deeper, more personal motivation behind the action. But being a Soul Reaper doesn't just come with physical battles. Ichigo has to juggle his everyday life, school, friends, and family, while keeping his double life as a Soul Reaper a secret. This leads to plenty of humorous moments, as Ichigo's classmates start to notice his increasingly strange behavior. In Season 1, we're also introduced to Ichigo's classmates, who will play a significant role in his journey. There's Orihime, a kind-hearted girl with hidden spiritual powers, Chad, Ichigo's quiet but fiercely loyal friend, and Uryu Ishida, a Quincy with a long-standing grudge against Soul Reapers. Uryu's rivalry with Ichigo adds a new layer of conflict to the story. The Quincy's are humans with special abilities to hunt hollows, but they have a tense history with Soul Reapers. This tension leads to a showdown between Uryu and Ichigo, but the real threat soon forces them to put aside their differences. Just when things seem to settle down, the danger escalates. Hollows grow stronger and Ichigo's powers continue to develop. But something even more sinister is brewing. 
Rukia has been keeping a secret from Ichigo. The Soul Society is after her. You see, her act of transferring her powers to Ichigo is considered a serious crime in the eyes of, Soul, of the Soul Society, and she's been hiding in the human world ever since. This revelation shakes Ichigo. He's grown close to Rukia, and now her life is in danger because of the bond they formed. To make matters worse, two incredibly strong, powerful Soul Reapers, Renji Ibarra and Captain Byakuya Kuchki arrive to arrest Rukia and bring her back to the Soul Society to face punishment. Renji and Byakuya aren't just any Soul Reapers, they're in a league far above, beyond what Ichigo has ever faced. Renji, a brash and fierce fighter, holds a personal grudge against Ichigo, while Byakuya, Rukia's older brother, and one of the most formidable captains sees Ichigo as nothing more than an insect. What follows is one of the most intense battles of the season. Ichigo takes on Renji in a desperate attempt to save Rukia, but the fight quickly shows Ichigo just how much, how outclassed he is. Despite his growth as a soul reaper, Renji easily overwhelms him, but Ichigo's resolve doesn't waver and he pushes himself to the brink in his efforts to protect Rukia. But it's Byakuya who delivers the final blow. With his speed and precision, he cuts down Ichigo without breaking a sweat. This moment leaves Ichigo broken, physically and emotionally. It's a harsh reminder of how much farther he has to go. Rukia, knowing that Ichigo can't protect her, makes the heartbreaking decision to surrender herself to the Soul Society. She believes it's the only way to keep him safe, but this act of self-sacrifice sets the stage for even greater conflict in the next season. Season 1 of Bleach ends on a cliffhanger, with Rukia taken back to the Soul Society, and Ichigo left to recover from his defeat. But this is far from the end of his journey, in fact, it's just the beginning. Season 1 lays the foundation for epic battles, complex relationships, and moral dilemmas that Bleach is known for. From his first encounter with Hollows to his growing responsibilities as a Soul Reaper, Ichigo's journey is a story of growth, courage, and the lengths one will go to protect the people they care about. But with Rukia gone and the Soul Society looming, Ichigo's greatest challenges are yet to come. Thanks for watching this recap of Bleach Season 1. If you're ready to see what happens next in Ichigo's quest to rescue Rukia, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more anime recaps and breakdowns. Until next time, keep your sword sharp and your spirits high. Seem the tuber out. Peace.